everyone, today I'm going to Cornwall, Ontario for a car show and I'm driving my Corvette. Hello everyone, uh, this is a video of a nice car show I attended yesterday in Cornwall, Ontario. There's a nice old Econoline and then one of them, them uh, new, newfangled fancy cars with turbos. And then the S2000 at least, that's pretty neat. Good old Chevy pickup. And, uh, another late model car, so I won't comment on that. Here's a nice Camaro. Either a 98 or a 2000. A nice old car. A super nice Mustang. There were so many cars. I can't comment on all of them. This Volvo looks mint. AMX, Impala, Fort Torino. Uh, there's uh, also lots of Chargers and Challengers from. Uh, well, these could be as old as 2010, so they're a little bit old, getting old there. So it's the Toyota that's getting old too. Anyways, I'm not really into turbos, I'm more into uh, muscle cars. But these guys in Ontario, if you want to show up with your car, run what you brung, and uh, they let you in. It's a fundraiser for the club, and they give money to charity, so the more the merrier. They don't really discriminate. Um, in my province, in Quebec, they, uh, you have to be 25 years or older, but uh, in Ontario it doesn't matter. There was lots of people there, lots of people enjoying old cars, and uh, the weather was great. It was sunny, but not too hot. I certainly got my exercise walking around. Oh, there's the General Lee. We'll see it again in two minutes, because I was just uh, trying to film everybody, so I had to uh, get moving. Here's a nice two S2000, another Fox Body Mustang. Nice satellite. It was all done up like a roadrunner. It was for sale. Very tempting. Another 70 roadrunner. 70, 69 Super B. And then another Challenger. And another fancy turbo car. And then another Challenger. 66 Coronet. Very nice. There was lots of Mustangs there, as you can expect. There was also a couple of F-bodies and a bunch of Corvettes. So, uh, oh, look at that 58 Corvette. It's so sweet. And then uh, 57 Chevy. Classic. To the baker, that guy lives in my area. I recognize him for, from the Wednesday nights. Filming around slowly so you can get oriented a little bit. Um, nice Polara. Another nice Camaro. The rent one's a 2002. 2002 because it's the last year for that generation. They had no Camaros for a while. That must be new again because the trunk again has a nice truck. Then in the 80s way. Then a Packard, you don't see too many of these anymore. A bunch more turbo cars. Um, the 63 Falcon is a guy that lives near my area. And then we're back with the Chargers. So there was a nice 70 Charger. And then next to it, oh, the 68. Spoke too soon, 68 Charger. And then next to it's the General Lee. Does that thing have a Hemi in it? I guess so. And then there was another other nice vet in the area. A bunch more turbo cars. Nice Chevy truck.
there's uh, lots of people in attendance. So I ended up spending the evening uh, with people I know, talking, relaxing. I could have been waxing my car or something like that, but uh, it was Sunday, Father's Day, so relax relaxing sounded like a good plan. We also had a band thing, a live band thing. There was a couple of things to sell. It wasn't huge. It wasn't a huge event for that. Also, take note, uh, car shows like that, uh, if you want to bring your car, there's a fee. But if you're just a, a regular person and you just want to show up, uh, then it's free for everybody. So it's a fundraiser, it's a free activity for people. So that is a win-win. More Mustangs. And more turbo cars. Then there, there's a nice old vet. And the rest of thousand. Nice old vet. Yeah, 2005, starting to be old. Eden's vet. And look at this automobile, I like the color. That is really neat. And the gold also looks good. The Oldsmobile, they always had a great sound. I'm trying to give you a sense of where we're going. It was a big event, it was a big part. Lots of cars. Look at that Buick. What a beauty. And then uh, another fast body Mustang. Another AMX from the 80s. Car. A bunch of, yeah, okay, well, different strokes for different folks. And more turbo cars, a nice old Mustang. There was a bunch of uh, challengers there. There's a good, uh, good Camaro. The late model Camaro, the they're not necessarily new looking either, they're really styled based on what the 60s had for styling. Retro styling as they call it. There's two Firebirds there, so there was a little bit of F-bodies at that show. And uh, like I said, they don't discriminate, so they had rat rods, uh, late model cars, they had turbo cars, they had muscle cars. They had pre-war, they had uh, cars from the 40s and 50s, so a little bit of everything. Show you around where we're going. People do up PT Cruisers in Ontario. That's kind of strange to me. More Firebirds and Camaros. I had to go so fast, I didn't really look at the cars, I was just filming. Look at this Challenger. What a beauty. The convertibles, there are not a ton of them. They are hard to find. And the Corvette. Another turbo car. Which I owned one of those. It was okay, but I don't think it's a show car. It was okay to drive around to go to work. Nice Camaro. And then this is a Polara wagon, which uh, that was the only one there, for sure. Nice Ford Torino. Nice Chevelle convertible. Another Mustang. Yeah, there was a theme there, Mustang, Camaro, Corvette, and Challenger. That's pretty much the theme of the day. Well, I'll give it to Honda, they do last. Yes, people spend a lot of money on their Mustang. Here's a nice Roadrunner. Oh, sorry, it's a GTS, that one. Nice 
Hey, where's the motor? Volvo wagon. Those things also lasted forever. Bus black Mustangs. Dodge Magnum. It's kind of unique, the Dodge Magnum. Oh, 77 Thunderbird. You don't see those anymore. In fact, uh, there's some uh, Tauruses coming up that you don't see uh, much anymore. Oh, yeah, the X-Files, it looks dated now because of the cars and the cell phone. But that's a show I enjoyed back in the day. Some pre-war stuff. Bringing a tractor to the show, I think it's a good idea. Because these things lasted for a long time. They were meant to be worked, worked hard, and they did. And uh, yeah, it's kind of, kind of good to bring them. If they had a steam powered tractor, I would freak out. That would be awesome. That car that was a white body for that. Uh, there's lots to see there. I 
I'm getting used to seeing the team and the car shows. There's another late model car. Nice old Chrysler Newport. Late model car. Another turbo car. Another turbo car. The Lotus 7 is a reproduction, but it's really cool. Then this van remind me of when I was a kid. They used to do all the vans like that with uh, custom interiors. Let's have a look at that interior. That is interesting. That's so interesting. It even smelled moldy, which uh, tells me that this is probably the original interior from the 70s. Square body truck. That, believe it or not, is a Mazda 3. You can hardly tell. All the cars, do you find that? That's All the cars 72. look alike today. All the pickups are pretty much the same. Uh, can't tell what year they're from. They're all the same. Same with uh, these late model uh, Econo boxes. They all look the same. If you take out the grill, you cannot tell uh, what brand it is. That, I don't know. I'm, I'm really not into cars today, especially SUVs. If you want to talk about cars being all the same today, all the SUVs, take out the badge in the front, they all look the same. But back in the day, styling made a difference. That's a good idea. He took the van and painted it like the uh, mystery machine. Good idea. I enjoyed, find I enjoyed finding that. Boy, there was a lot of people there. It was a big show. Super nice Firebird. I had a Trans Am like that. I loved it. It was the best car ever. It wasn't the fastest car ever, but I enjoyed driving it. I think this Ford 2 lives in my area because I've seen it before. Ford Escort. That's getting old too. It's a bunch of nice Mustangs. Look at these guys' tires. It says Ford Performance on them. This IROC Z. Fox body Mustang. I'm turning around so slowly so you can get an, an idea for how everything's oriented. Oh, a little red wagon. That is so cool. That's actually something I would like to own. Little red wagon. This one wasn't as mint as the Warlock truck I found a couple of weeks before, but I still like it. You can see uh, the wood panels are worn out a bit, and also the wheels. These are the original wheels, impossible to find, and uh, the guy had to paint them silver because uh, they are a little bit damaged from, from the time. Anyways, the cab is, the paint and the cab is in nice shape. So that was a fine, a rare car that I liked. And then more, uh, more Mustangs. I don't mind having a little personalization on the Mustang. They're all the same. Oh look, I found some more turbo cars. That, uh, that Mustang was a uh, bullet edition. And then that, that trike, but that was a Halloween car. There's an old Honda. It, uh, it made it. The Viper, the V10 pickup. And I'm getting used to the Patina. But I don't find that anymore. This guy also lives in my area, at uh, the Chevy, a nice old Dodge, these old pickups, uh, people love them, I'll tell you, I have a 92 and I sure, sure like driving it. Just behind the uh, the red uh, 
the red and black pickup there. So that situates you uh, compared to the rest of the cars. We're three quarters of the way done. That was a big show. I expected it to be big, but I was amazed at how big it was. And that will take us, that road will take us to the food trucks. I forget what the model was, but the, uh, the uh, Avalanche, but Cadillac model. People that own those really like them. A bunch of late model Camaros and Challengers. The plum crazy purple though uh, makes the Challenger look nice. Uh, yeah. This is a rare car. I don't know what it is because it has a turbo. Again, this is uh, 63 or 64. Should be blue or no, but it's done up like a race car. I kind of like it. It's not a car. More car bags. There's the empty car. Definitely the rare cars that were there. So uh, if you don't, you don't know, you can try to get some of the Something you don't see every day. Show you where the motor is. So I'm sure that guy enjoys that. I don't know if he takes it around the lake too much anymore. There's all the vendors and then the food trucks behind that. Just to give you an idea of where we're at. And then we're coming back up the hill. So this is a nice part. It's sandwiched between the street and the lake. This is the row where my car is parked. And there it is. Black, uh, when it's clean, it's nice. It's just, uh, I clean it every day. I wash it every day when I use it. So uh, I keep it looking nice like that. Broncos. There's a few Broncos there. I guess it is the retro styling. I would say it was mostly American cars, but that's not true. A lot of people bring their Japanese cars to these events. Yeah. Good old no, uh, pickup. Yeah. Yeah, nice uh, 64 Chrysler 300. And the Buick Riviera, I used to not like them, but uh, over time I grew to like them. I would actually uh, consider getting one if the opportunity came around. And a bunch more Roadrunners. 69 Roadrunner is the Ford Galaxy was all about the conquest for space back then. You could have a comet, a galaxy, a starliner. Looks like the coyote finally caught up to the roadrunner. So you can see uh, back there, that's the road. So we're coming closer to the end. So that's the, the road and then uh, where the food trucks are, that's the lake. So we're sandwiched between the road and the lake. There was so much to see. I kind of like uh, the Cougars. Such a nice styling to me with the hidden headlights. I can't understand why a Mustang is worth more than a Cougar. I like the Cougar every bit as much as I did the Mustang. And I'll show you around. There's still more to see. So there was a lot of cars there. We'll start from the other end of that line. Gold Mustang looks great. 
RX-7 is getting old now so we don't see them anymore you know for a car to, to be old like that somebody has to be interested in it to restore it, maintain it so oh, there's a bullet too this Chrysler 300 I thought was interesting it's a 300H which is really hard to get I'll show you some of the close-up shots this thing is mint but also it's a rare car there's no parts available I just wanted to show a close-up of the wheels it's supposed to have a pinstripe like that in the interior which is pretty much the same as all of them it's a 300H for hearse but there's no hearse shifter the trunk lid is unique so you cannot get replacement parts for that so uh, all the other 300s did not have spoilers and also the hood is a uh, unique show you a close-up of that so that's the only badge but the hood is one of a kind so there's no replacement parts for that that if you're ever wondering why Mopars are so expensive that's why uh, you have to look for parts where you can find them a lot of them is special special parts which you cannot get anymore on obtainium although a lot of the sheet metal has been reproduced so that makes it a bit easier but yeah more mustangs and camaros although i do really much like uh, the uh, the early uh, first generation camaros that was a hit such a nice car nice square body this I guess that was an area for uh, first gen Camaros and then uh, cars from the 30s and 40s which I kind of like this pickup I'm getting used to the patina look That's a nice old truck too. And then just to show you, uh, just to orient you a little bit, here's some more uh, four cylinder cars. Nice Mustang, nice Ford. It's a nice Super B there. 70 Super B, that's what I drove when I was 20. So, uh, and there's two the Baker. There was two, two of the Baker presidents that day, so that tells you how many cars there were. And then the Mustang Club showed up. Oh, the Cobra! I was filming so fast, I didn't even see that. Those are really cool. So there was only one of those so far. anniversary firebird 957 chevy 68 mustang mustang did i say mustang i meant camaro there's the, the 300h leaving that's kind of a big car let's say um, you want to save on gas do not get a chrysler with a 440 that is not a gas saver Yeah, I got my exercise that day, walking around all that. There was a lot to see. The Cadillac XLR, do you guys like those? I don't mind them. And the uh, Oldsmobile, another 70 satellite. and another uh, late model car. Well, that's it for the video. See you soon.